troops to the Middle East. Mr. President, has Netanyahu gone too far? Any comment on the strikes in Yemen, Mr. President? both sides have got a strike. Support the collective bargaining effort, I think they'll settle the strike. Are you going to talk to Netanyahu? Are you going to talk to Prime Minister Netanyahu? Have you anything to say to him? Yes, I will be talking to him. I'll tell you what I say to him when I talk to him. Yes, sir. Do you have any words for the victims of this case? Yes, it's tragic. As a matter of fact, we're trying to get the exact number. My FEMA advisor is on the ground in Florida right now. There's a distinction between the numbers that FEMA's used and the ones that are used by, uh, by the locals. So it's, uh, it really is amazing. You saw the photographs. It's stunning. It's unbelievable. It really it's is. So many, so, such a wide area. Uh, and we've, we've gave, given them all, of the, all everything that we have. We're on the ground ahead of time. So we're working hard. Thank Are there you. any more resources the federal government could be giving them? No, we've given them, we have pre-planned a significant amount of it, even though they didn't ask for it yet. Had, hadn't asked for it yet. Mr. President, would you intervene in the dock workers' strike if they go on strike on Tuesday? No. Why not? Because it's collective bargaining. I don't believe in Taft Harbor. Can, can, all out, can an all-out war in the Middle East be avoided? It has to be. We, uh, we really have to avoid it. We've already taken precautions relative to our embassies and personnel who want to leave. And, uh, but uh, we're not there yet, but we're working like hell with the French and many others to see the good work. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.